All right, so if you're trying to install Windows and you're seeing this, that you have no SSD or drive to install on, there are two things that could be uh, possible to fix this. Um, this laptop specifically is an ASUS uh, Tough Gaming F17, but this can be on a lot of other computers. First things first, um, you can check the load driver. On this laptop, the mouse doesn't work in this mode. I guess it needs drivers. So we're going to go there. I'm using the keyboard. We're going to go to Browse. Okay, I'm gonna go to my USB drive. Oops, oops, now I'm gonna have to do this manually again. Browse, okay, so we're gonna open that up. And I don't remember if I have the drivers on here, but maybe, the, oh here. So we have these Intel VMD and non-Intel VMD. So this is an Intel SSD, so I mean uh, processor, so we're gonna do the Intel VMD. And we'll see, there's two drivers in here. We'll press one of them. We'll see if this is enough to get the SSD to load. Um, the driver, if you're wondering how I got it, I got it actually from directly from the manufacturer's website. I believe it's the Intel RST, Rapid Storage, um, whatever controller thingy. But here you can see now we can actually see the SSD there. Um, this, I feel, is unnecessary unless you're actually using multiple SSDs, and it's basically, if I'm not mistaken, like RAID. Um, but anyways, I'm going to close this because I'd rather turn off the um, feature. So we're going to close this and exit, and we're going to go back into the BIOS. I'm pressing F2 on this laptop, speci specifically F2 or uh, Delete will do this. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into the advanced mode, F7. Okay, this is the easier way because you don't have to worry about finding a driver or anything. And most people aren't using the Intel Rapid Storage, whatever technology stuff anyways. And if you are using the Intel Rapid Storage technology stuff, you're probably using an Intel Optane SSD, which I'm going to tell you right now, throw that garbage away. <laughs> because I've seen so many Intel, uh, R, uh, Intel Optane SSDs fail. Um, yeah, I don't recommend using them at all. Oops. All right, anyways, after you've done that, um, we're going to go into advance, and we're actually going to go to the bottom of this list. So I'm going to just go up, press up to get to the last one. You see this VMD setup menu. We're going to go in there. You see enable VMD controller. We're going to disable that. And now once we disable that, okay, well, actually, let me show you what it says here. So switching VMD mode may cause the system to malfunction. Okay, um, and if you disable this, it may cause this as a malfunction. Um, anyways, the VMD controller, sometimes the BIOS will update itself and will change it to enabled or disabled, and that alone will make your computer not be able to see your SSD. It's very annoying. Oops, I messed up. Let me control delete here. Sorry, um, I forgot I clicked the mode without saving. I don't know why the fans on this thing are going crazy right now, but uh, right now they're going crazy. All right. So we're going to go into advanced. We did also have to go to the advanced options here. Okay. And then again, we're going to go to VMD setup. Disable that. Okay. And then we're going to go here, here. No. Where's the save? Oh, here. Save and exit. Oops, sorry. Save and exit. And then obviously want to save changes and exit. Good. Okay. Since it doesn't have a boot on it right now, it's going to automatically boot to my Windows installer, but I'm going to do it the way that if you have something there, so F2. Once you do that, you can see we have F8 for boot menu, so we're going to press F8, and then we have my USB drive there. We're going to go press enter on that one, and we'll start the Windows installer again. And this time, we shouldn't need the Intel RST driver. Um, and if you're wondering how you get that, I had to use, I had to download Intel RST, and then I had to extract it. I think I used um, 7-zip to extract the exe file or whatever file it gives. Um, and then, yeah, I believe you can get the Intel RST driver directly from Intel, but usually it's best to get it directly from your um, manufacturer's uh, website. So there's an Asus laptop, you get it from your exact laptop model. All right, now let's go ahead and go next. Install now. Okay. We still have no mouse on this one because this uses some special touchpad that the driver is not easy to find, I guess. It's not built into Windows. Spacebar to accept the license, enter custom, and here you go. We got the SSD 
without having to install any stupid driver finding anything. Um, again, um, I think the Intel RST, it basically acts as RAID where it can use an extra drive as like cache storage, but I've seen too much of that fail. So yeah, just, just get rid of that. It's basically like RAM for your SSD. Why do you need RAM for your SSD? Just use your full SSD. I don't know if someone sees like an actual big performance difference, let me know. But I've never seen like that huge of a performance difference that it makes sense to make this extra complicated setup and then if you need to like clone your drive or something then you got to worry about if it's going to have any issues with that so i'd rather just not use it and just use it as is without the intel vmd stuff all right anyways if you're curious you can always google what intel vmd is what it does and see if 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 it's something worth it to you to restore i made a video specifically on making it read the SSDs by disabling Intel VMD and so many people benefit from that video um, So yeah, I, I wouldn't put Intel VMD on <laughs> anyways. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye